Hi, welcome back. This is Alcan. Welcome back to my channel. Um, these things are coming down soon. So one day you're not going to see them. We're moving. This Michelle. Well, once again, not you. Say hi, Michelle. See? Anyway, um, going back to our scheduled programming. Once again, another assault. A trained employee, which is also costing you money, just as bad as the uh, overtime abuse on Long Island Railroad. Well, apparently the uh, new NTA chairman uh, decided to back off from his propose proposal of having the police check the overtime. Yes, we thought it was kind of cuckoo ourselves, and sure enough, he was getting a lot of backlash. You think it would have been support, but instead it's backlash. And I said the same thing. This was a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, now, one of the board, other board members said there should have been a, a former prosecutor come in and check the overtime. That, I think, is more reasonable. Because there he can go through all the paperwork, go through all the files and everything, and that would be a much more reasonable thing than having a... This, theater or theatrics at the NTA board meeting. Uh, former uh, TA president Samuel, now uh, the head of TRU, was blasting them. Uh, I mean, really, the abuse was taking place in the maintenance department. Not where the engineers are, not where the brakemen are, not where the conductors are, because they're under 10 hours. FRA. The, the guy in question, he did 15 hours. With a geometry train. That's where the question is. Even the governor is saying, how the heck is he doing this? You know, like, does this guy even go to sleep? So, this is a, the, the debate going on. Meanwhile, you had an employee, another employee getting attacked on the F line. This is the same line that years ago, a motorman went on a, on a verbal rampage on... It's private Facebook. Somebody banged them in. As soon as he came into Stillwell F, the welcome committee was waiting for him. And that was his end of his motorman career. Oh, don't worry. They didn't fire him because they realized now that um, the stress was just too much for him. He got the motor, but he's getting his motorman's pay. But hey, he's not operating a train no more. Unfortunately, what he said about the passengers... And the threat that he wished a, a terrorist group do something to them. Now it's becoming apparent why he said that. Because this particular operator, minding her own business, just came in, closed the door in, in her cab. And next thing you know, turns around, <sighs> right in the eye. Six foot tall person, puncher. I don't know the description of the person. I don't even know if the person's African American or white. It doesn't matter. It's still got, she got punched in the face. She had a nasty shiner. Um, you would think her story would end up in the front page, maybe the big section or the early pages. No, it's on page 11. You know, this is just as bad as the overtime reviews because it's costing you money. The taxpayer and the people pay the fare. Because while she's out, and by the way, if you get punched in the face, the NSA Transit considers that a head injury. So she has to be out at least a week. They can't, they can't let her operate a train because if something were to happen, then you're going to get lawsuits Maybe from the operator and the passengers if something were to happen. So at least a week. We don't know if she's going to take more. So if you saw the news conference, she's not goofing off. She's not allowed to operate train for at least a week. So that's costing you money. Why? Because while she's out, somebody else has to take her place. So whether the person is on, on the board or the person is working overtime to take her place, it's costing you money. So that guy who punched in the face just cost you a lot of money. Just like they... The other two knuckleheads 
They knocked out the other three employees. Stabbing and the urine. That's all costing you money. Everything you assault an employee, that's costing you money. Because they got to pay the medical expense. You got to pay for the missing personnel. Because somebody's got to take their place. And if they don't get somebody to take their place, then it's going to be a problem. Because the trains get screwed up. And I remember a situation like that with a drug test one day. Um, there were three, three jobs open, but only one was filled. Why was that? I was on overtime, and the other two people were called out for, for a random drug test. It caused a huge delay on the airline. And back then, as soon as you said, well, they asked, why are the trains are freaking late? I said, hey, because... We're missing people because of drug tests. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's great. great. Not today. You didn't say, ah, phew. I want my train on time. So, once again, stupidity at the works, as I would say. And I'm fortunate that more than me on the F line who got taken out of service for saying that crazy stuff on Facebook. He is right. A lot of these people are basically out of control. No, I don't advocate uh, violence against them because that's not going to solve the problem. Because, as you see, people are doing violence against each other on the train and the employees. Is it solving anything? No. It's only costing you more money. And I'm not worried about me getting a strike because I'm not getting paid for this. So... Solution is you're gonna have to crack down on these people who keep doing this. And you're gonna have to make them pay every penny the authority loses when this employee is out, out on medical. Every penny. This is the only way you're gonna get them to stop. When they realize they're gonna pay thousands and thousands of dollars what they owe to the authority, they're gonna stop. They don't got that kind of money in their pocket. They think just smacking somebody and that's it. No, that doesn't work that way. And that's probably doesn't include the, the lawyer's fees. Because New York City Transit, when they find a person, they're, they're going to want to recuperate what they lost because they can't get it from the employee. They have to get it from the person who caused the assault. So, it's just one crazy thing after another. And again, with the overtime situation, I think a prosecutor, a former prosecutor looking into that is okay. The idea of having the police checking every work site and everything. Cuckoo. And if you're watching the new NTA chairman, your idea is cuckoo. Because if they had done that with the pension scandal back then, you know, with the people putting in the uh, fake claims of uh, disability, you would never gotten the cooperation you'd gotten and solved uh, a lot of these cases. So basically... I'm calling for is you want to put the prosecutor that's fine. But the thing is, the people who drop the ball should be punished too. Because if you sign for that overtime and you know it says 15 hours and you didn't question it, then there's something wrong with you. Okay? Like I said, in New York City Transit, you're allowed to work up to 14 hours. Of course, you need permission. If you reach a certain time, like 12 hours or whatever, but you're not 14, but that's it. Only in emergency you go past 14. The 15 hour thing, there was no emergency. So I don't know how he got away with it, but he did. And once again, it was like $462,000 a year. When you broke it down, the overtime is like 31500 a month. I don't even come that close. And I checked the list again for the uh, Empire Center's top 50. There was only two employees from New York City Transit that made it. All the re Everybody in that list is maintenance people. No motorman, no conductor, no brakeman, no engineer. Nobody who operates the train. So... 
Those are the, those people are under the ten hour limit. Long Arrow Metro North, Stand Island Railway, Path, Amtrak, Freight Lines. We're the only ones at fourteen. So and you can thank the fast track also for that because they if they cut the the service. Um the D lane always had to pick up the slack. And they cut the lane in half. Well guess what? If you're on the wrong end, instead of laying your dead head back. No, you gotta do a, an extra train and then you get home, you come home two or three hours late, and then you gotta put it in. You know, this is not free service. So, once again, you need a solution to deal with the people attacking the employees, passengers, unnecessary transit, and you still need a solution with the, the overtime abuse on the Long Island Railroad. So, knee-jerk reactions is not going to solve the problem. Getting down to people who keep screwing up will solve the problem. So this is how can say so on for now and don't forget to stop. Say bye Ariana. Alright bye.